Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today is Friday, November 13th. I'm Ruby Snow. And I'm Serena Maselli. Today is a blue day. These students have received Shark Awards. Jack Hansen nominated by Mrs. May Nickel for being a good friend and looking out for others in Tech Club. And Daisy Savage nominated by Mrs. Rogers for always helping other classmates. The shark t-shirt drawing winners are Brian Crowley, nominated by Mrs. Grand for helping another student clean up a dropped water bottle, and Julia Furlong, nominated by Mrs. Wanger for always helping with chairs after class. Any girls that played volleyball this past fall, see Miss Morrissey if they have not received a team picture. The Lane Memorial Library is looking for volunteers to wrap gifts, gifts for their gift wrapping fundraiser on December 14th through 16th. Sign up sheets are available at the Lane Memorial Library and at the Hampton Academy Library. The sixth grade students will be picking up recycling bins today. Please leave them in the hallway. Thank you. Yesterday, Mr. Magnuson's 8th grade shark block took paper airplanes to a whole new level. They did this by adding rubber bands to their paper airplanes. Some students even reached speeds of 27 miles per hour. The students that reached the highest speeds were me with 27 miles per hour, Ethan Hackett with 26, Maylee Cleveland with 25, and Nick Hepburn with 23. And on his very last throw, Nick got his airplane stuck in a grate next to the scoreboard. This is my airplane, John. John was the fastest airplane out of all of them. Um, yes, his name is John. He's not John Cena, before you even think of that. Okay? It's John. And so, to end this, do that. Good morning, Hampton Academy. I'm here with two of our veterans that came, Dave and Warren. So, Warren, what war did you serve in? Uh, World War II. Wow, and what war did you serve in? I was in the service during uh, Desert Storm, Desert Shield era. Wow, so what was both of your favorite parts about being in the military? Um, I served on the, in the submarine force, and for me it was the camaraderie with my uh, shipmates on the submarine. That's cool, what about you? <coughs> well, I served with the United States Marine Corps, uh, enlisted when I was 16 years old, wow. and... Uh, served uh, four years in the Marines, and uh, I, I'd have to mimic the, the, my first uh, speaker here. The camaraderie of the Marine Corps was one of the best attributes. Well, thank you guys so much for coming today. We really appreciate it, and thank you um, for talking to us. It's, it's our honor. Thank you. Wow, that was a great interview. Um, and the veterans also generously gave up their time to visit our classrooms, and uh, we'd like to show you some of that as well. What was the best part of being a soldier? Um, for me, the best the best part for me was uh, sort of camaraderie. No matter what service you're in, um, you always have this sort of brotherhood or sisterhood, you know, um, that that is just, it, 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 there's nothing like it. Um, This is brought to you by Hampton Academy Student Council. I can't afford my Thanksgiving dinner this year. We can help. Some people in New Hampshire can't afford their dinners. This year we are, we are doing a food drive to help people who might, may not be able to afford their Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner themselves. We ask you to bring in canned foods like fruits, vegetables, gravy, and more. From now to the 19th, please bring in your canned foods.
Saturday, November 14th, Student Council will be hosting an open gym night from 6 to 8 here at Hampton Academy. Tickets will be on sale today at lunches for $4. No tickets will be sold at the door. Hope to, Hope see, to see you, you there. there. This is a public service announcement from the library. Water plus your library book equals mold. Don't let this happen. Keep water away from your books. If they do happen to get wet, stand the book upright with the pages open so it can dry completely before you return it to the library. I'm here with Aiden and Quinn. So Aiden, what did you do for the Stone Age project? Uh, we used a couple paints to make uh, these pictures that we saw that scientists took from caves. And we also made these hands from the, d we ha made hands and we put designs on them. Cool. So Quinn, what was your favorite part? Um, I really liked how we got to make the hands because we got to put any design we wanted on it. Thank you guys. After studying about the achievements of the Neolithic and Paleolithic periods, the six scooters wrote essays. They also made tools and weapons with string, stone, and wood. Good morning, Hampton Academy. I'm here with sixth grade student Colin McLean. Good morning, Colin. Good morning. Um, so he is actually our student in the spotlight this week, and several students and teachers have recommended him being on the student spotlight. So before the interview, we're going to take a look at some of his sketches. So Colin, how long have you been doing art? Probably since first grade, but I started getting better at it around second grade. And if we were to look in your sketchbook, what do you think we would mostly see in there? Probably stuff from horror movies and video games. All right. Thanks, Colin. Helping verbs, helping verbs, there are 23. Am is our, was and were, being, been and be. Half has had, do, does, did, shall, should, will and would. There are five more helping verbs, may, might, must, can, could. Good morning, Hampton Academy. I'm here with Julia and Will, and they're part of Mrs. Rogers' Spanish class. So Julia, what was one of the previous topics that you learned in Spanish? Well, we learned about the body parts, and we made posters. What about you, Will? Uh, we made 20 different body or we named 20 po body parts here. Yeah, you did a really good job in your posters, guys. Thanks. To enhance our learning, we learned head, shoulders, knees, and toes in Spanish. La cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ojos, rejas, boca, nariz, cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. ¡Más rápido! Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. Ojos, rejas, boca, nariz, cabeza, hombros, rodillas, pies, rodillas, pies. ¡Adiós! ¡Adiós! Forty-seven Hampton Academy students attended a trip to the UNH Brown Center yesterday. Here's a quick clip and some pictures. I'm Michael Dunleavy at the Rainy Brown Center. I'm here to interview with some of the other people that are here. So what has been your favorite part? Um, my favorite part was the triangle group activity where there are three wires attached to trees and we had to help our teammates get across. So what has been your favorite part? My favorite part has been the activity where we get a partner and we have to walk somewhere and you have a ring, you have to throw it onto your arm and you have to count how many times you catch it and how many times you drop it and then you add it up and you want to have the lowest score by the time we get to where we were walking. All right, that's cool. See you later. We had some, uh, and now for the weather, excuse me.
I'm trying to start early. We had some weather photos this week. A tree outside my house from um, in, on Veterans Day, in fact. Layla Hassan. Hewson? Hassan. Uh, thank you, Layla, for sending that in. I can't, I can't pronounce names anymore. We had um, Kylie, the leaves that fell in her front yard. Thank you, Kylie, for sending that in. We also had uh, some sunrises from Kylie. A pretty Friday morning sunrise and a bright and shiny Monday morning sunrise. Thank you, Kylie, for sending those in. It's always nice to have something great to start off your Mondays. I very frequently have a case of the Mondays, if you call it that. Um, and our fifth weather photo comes from a fourth grader. Um, back at Marston, we have a beautiful sky and trees from Jocelyn Snow in Mrs. Ripley's class. Uh, thank you so much, Jocelyn. It's always great to have uh, reminders that um, the kids at Marston are watching the Shark News, and that's really great. Uh, we also have Nick Hepburn. He has uh, no leaves in his yard, but we can see there's some... Uh, Fall colored gummy bears are placing the leaves. Thank you, Nick, for sending those in. So, day planner, Friday, 8 a.m., 59 degrees and cloudy. We're still shaking off that rain, but, um, well, we're not shaking off the rain. The rain is already gone, but the clouds will still be there. Um, 8 a.m., 12 p.m., it's going to be 68 degrees. Temperature's risen almost 10 degrees. Um, it'll still be cloudy, um, but the sun begins to peak out. 4 p.m., 67 degrees, partly sunny. We're taking a look at our five-day forecast. Saturday's going to be the coldest day in the weekend, and uh, we're going to warm up to the upper 50s on Tuesday. We're not looking like we're going to have a white Thanksgiving just yet. We're seeing a lot of warmer, unseasonally warm temperatures. Uh, that's your weather. I'm Tyler Hughes. And remember, before you speak, text or email, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go out there and make, make it, it a lucky, lucky Friday, Friday the 13th. 13th.